What's up guys, it's your boy Nostromy here bringing you a brand new video. I'm just gonna get right to the point. I have a corn shaped head and when I say corn shaped head, I mean like, you know, the little kernels, just like each individual piece of corn. I'll put a picture right next to my head, right, right here. Look, you can see it right now. Like I have corners. Who has corners on their head? Usually people have a round head. Not me. I got a, I got a square. I got a corn shaped head. I went for a haircut yesterday and you know, I want my hair really short and I, I got a cut pretty short for me. And if I put some gel, it looks all right. But I cannot cut it any shorter than this because I got some Asian hair and Asian hair is thick and it just sticks out which makes my hair look even more Cornish. Cornish even a word. Anyways, I always want that like douchey haircut. You know how people have like a line and it com combs over and everything. Just can't do it. So I'm going to tell you guys a story on how the corn shape head originated. So back in sixth grade, probably... Damn, eight years ago. I was walking home from school from the bus stop. And at the time, I had a shaved head. Because sixth grade, I didn't care about anything. I just cared about going to school, talking to friends, all that. I didn't care about how I looked. Anyways, I had just gotten a haircut and she looked at me. And she's like, you know what your head shape looks like? I was like, what? It looks like a little piece of corn. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, I probably didn't say that. But anyways, you know, I was like, you know what? I, I looked in the mirror when I got home. And I was like, you know, she, she's sort of right. So it's been since then, probably eight years, that I've lived... I just killed myself with an airstrike. So like I was saying, it's been about eight years and that's all I thought about is I have a corn shaped head and you know, she's right. I'm not, I don't deny it. That's why I'm making the video here today. But how do you even think about that? Like a piece of corn, like that dish doesn't pop in your mind. Anyways, it's all good. I just put a little bit of gel in it every day. No big deals. As long as you get the ladies, it's all good. I don't get any. Also another thing, getting haircuts in America suck. And when I say suck, I mean for Asians. So most Asians have really thick hair like me. So if you cut it wrong, it's, if you cut it too short, it's just going to stick up a lot. And you've seen those little Asian kids with short hair and their hair is just everywhere. Sadly, I am one of those kids. So I go to this random little Asian lady, not random little Asian lady, my mom's friends with her, but I can only get haircuts by Asian people. They actually know how to cut my hair. So I guess I'm stuck with like a, with like a five year old haircut for the rest of my life. Cause I can only cut it certain ways. Got to cut it like this. I have to cut it this length and then comb it over to the right or not comb it over just flip it over to the right and that's it sucks yeah this guy's just camping up there the whole time get out of here oh and the worst is whenever i go to the gym and i start sweating and for some reason sweat just makes my hair super poofy i guess it's like whenever it's humid outside people's hair gets a lot bigger if that even makes sense but wait is this a clip opportunity i just missed the triple feed anyways yeah, my hair just gets like super huge. Looks like I have an afro, but I don't. So that's why before I go to the gym, I make sure that I I use some wax or something. Granada! Are we getting the final kill? Are we doing it? I'm gonna get the final kill, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Nope. Of course didn't happen. Of course. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my corn-shaped head. I looked in the mirror today. I was like, you know what? That'd be a good idea for a video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and I shall see you guys on my next video.